What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Workshop for the Soul, brother. I let your service. Oh, God. I took the time to step away from Revelations just for one episode to encourage you. You hear me? The cares of this world right now are designed to snuff out anything righteous you do care about due to your hope being deferred. Let's count, let's count this. Let's count this. Your hope gets deferred because ain't nothing changed for you in a bit. And then the cares of this world, the right? You start leaning more maybe on the cares of this world because your hope being deferred. Sorry about that. And because of that, it's, it's it may be causing you to withdraw. Don't. Stick in there. The Bible says, cast your, your burdens or your cares upon the Lord for he careth for you. You ain't supposed to care about nothing but your soul. See, when you don't place the cares of this world in the hand of the one who controls it, because I know down here it seems like he ain't in control at times because he let Satan run him up. Don't get it twisted. God is still in control. And he cares for you. He's just waiting on you to stop caring to the degree that you allow him to care for you. See, the fact that you care so much, the care that you're putting into it can choke out your faith. And then don't let God's timing not be yours. You'll fall into sin. What is that? The sin of unbelief. Nobody's exempt from it. Nobody's Nobody's extinct from it. Like nobody's, nobody gets a pass. We all having this human experience together. But stay encouraged. Stop caring about that stuff so much. Everything mean nothing. Everything mean nothing. Come on now. All this evil around us. Yeah, God knows what you have need of, even before you ask. And yes, you still asked. I get it. But don't care. Let that, let that go. Let that go. When you really, truly learn to embrace not caring about none of what this world offers, like things ain't going your way. I don't care. Why? Because my hope is in the one who can switch it on a dime. So what is Satan designed to do is to rob you of your right now faith that you lose confidence in the switch on the dime God. Why? Because you 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 only know him and your faith is only prepared for a God that takes a while. Why? Because you take a while and there's a process in this thing. See, you only have confidence for the process God until you don't. And when you don't, I'm here to tell you, your faith and your hope needs to be restored in the right now, God, and the right now blessing and the right now bring you out because tomorrow everything changes. Everything changes. And you are this video away from your aha experience that carries you another three months until your breakthrough. You are this video away from the next 30 minutes that carries you into your aha moment in Christ Jesus to carry you to your breakthrough. And after you get to your breakthrough, there's still another something to learn on the other side. So chill. Don't become stressed out. We ain't got no business in that vein. That if it was up to you, you would do better for you. But it's not up to you because you've tried everything. You put your hand to everything that you knew. 
and nothing's changing. No, what do you do? Stop caring and wait on the Lord. Hmm? Be faithful concerning the things you know you need to be faithful of. Don't be weary and well-doing just because you're waiting on some other doors to open. Pick your big head up. What you mean? Brother Alex, your service, man. We in this thing together. Don't worry about it. That's all you need is to not care. Because you care too much. And all you got to do is cast your cares on the one who cares for you. Because you ain't got no business caring about nothing. Watch for your soul. Keep your attitude right. We almost there.